our treatments are designed to target these neural structures. The first treatment, which is an auricular treatment, an ear treatment, involves six points for calming the system and centering. The way the points are selected are for their clear and understood neural dysfunction. The hypothalamus, which is overactive. The amygdala, which is overactive. The hippocampus, which is overactive. The prefrontal cortex, which is underactive. The Shen Men, representative of the sympathetic nervous system, and point zero, representing the very center of the ear. The way the ear is arranged is like many other parts of the body. The homunculus, or the map of the body proper, the entire body, can be identified within the structure of the ear, just like it can be identified within the structure of the cerebral cortex or on any other surface that you wish to examine. In this case, the inverted homunculus has the head aiming towards the lobe of the ear at the bottom and the feet up at the top of the apex of the ear. As you will see, many of these neural structures, therefore, lying within the head are to be found at the lower part of the ear. And I will go over the points specifically, but they represent the point hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus, master cerebral or prefrontal cortex, shen men or sympathetic nervous system, and point zero, the center of the ear. The auricular trauma protocol, or ATP. The basic premise of auricular medicine is that the brain projects an image of the entire body onto the surface of the ear. Active ear points will show decreased electrical resistance and increased conductivity relative to surrounding tissue. Using a simple round tip probe, this property manifests as local tenderness and often a local depression or crater is observed. We need the anatomy vocabulary to discuss locating the points. Three of the points have precise anatomic locations. They are Shen Men, Zero, and Amygdala. The others are found in zones, which will demonstrate one or several areas of maximal tenderness. They are Master Cerebral, Hypothalamus, and Hippocampus. Points are found by applying light to moderate pressure with the probe tip. The most effective, that is to say the most powerful point, is the most tender one in the zone. Often a small crater caused by local edema is observed and visible after probing, sometimes with a reddened base. Once you have learned the locations of the ATP points and zones, you can quickly determine the most effective place to put the needle. Let's demonstrate. You're looking at a picture of a human ear, a structure you all know well. You're probably less familiar with the names for the specific anatomic features of the ear, and learning these names will be important so that we can have a common language when we discuss the locations of the points and zones in the auricular trauma protocol. The first structure that we want to discuss is the helix, which surrounds the ear. Next, the antihelix opposite the helix, which is comprised of a body, a superior arm, and an inferior arm. Together, the arms comprise the walls of the next structure, which is the triangular fossa. As you can see, this structure is roughly triangular and contains one of the important points in the auricular trauma protocol. Now we move down to the superior concha. Concha, like a conch shell, a hollowed out depression. Note the interconchal ridge. Next we have the inferior concha, which is bounded superiorly by the interconchal ridge, anteriorly by the tragus, posteriorly by the antitragus, and inferiorly by the intertragic notch. And here is the tragus, the anterior cartilaginous structure, which leads into the intertragic notch. The next structure is the antitragus opposite the tragus, and this will be an important landmark for finding several of the points and zones in the auricular trauma protocol. And finally, a structure you all know well, the lobe, where the brain and central nervous system structures are generally found in their representation on the ear. Now that we know the anatomy, we're ready to discuss the names and locations of the points that comprise the auricular trauma protocol. The first of these is called Shen Men, and it's found in the triangular fossa. We find it by drawing a line through the apex of the triangle, moving immediately superior to that line, but staying within the floor of the triangular fossa, the point Shen Men, used for calming. The next point is called point zero, and this is easily found by 
sliding down the helix until we come to the little notch which delineates the helix from the interconchal ridge. And this model demonstrates a nice little notch, and you'll find a similar notch in your own ear. Now turn your attention to the antitragus and the area of the lobe immediately below it. This is the hippocampal zone. And what you will do is use your probe to elicit the point of maximal tenderness. That's where you'll put the needle in the hippocampal zone. Now turn your attention to the intertragic notch. Bisect it vertically and move to the posterior aspect. The point amygdala lies immediately inferior to the cartilage of the intertragic notch in the skin of the lobe on its posterior aspect. Indeed, this is also a small zone, and we'll look in this small zone for a point of maximal tenderness and declare that point amygdala. Now turn your attention to the junction between the anterior lobe and the skin of the face. Along this groove lies the zone of master cerebral, also known as prefrontal cortex. You may see it expressed as a single point halfway between the intertragic notch and the tip of the lobe, but it's a zone, and you'll want to make sure that you're needling the point of maximal tenderness. The last point in the auricular trauma protocol is hypothalamus. This point is found at the junction between the interior wall of the antitragus and the floor of the inferior concha as it moves up from the intertragic notch. So right along in here is the hypothalamus zone, you'll find the tender point and take it like that.